Following the NSAS memorial which held across Nigeria, reactions have chilled the rallies and harassment of protesters and some journalists at the Lekki Tollgate here in Lagos. A journalist and some youth advocates share their thoughts and experiences. Plus TV Africa's Ngozika or HSC has more in this report. <laughs> The NSAS memorial held in different states on Wednesday. In Lagos, hundreds of protesters bearing placards and the Nigerian flag stormed the Lekki toll gate to seek justice and honor the victims who reportedly lost their lives at the toll gate last year. The police had warned that anyone seen at the toll gate without an identification card will be arrested. And true to their words, some were arrested and even journalists harassed. On Plus TV Africa Breakfast Show, a journalist and some youths reacted to the changes of the protest of last year and this year's. From last year to this year, they, I, I, I think personally that they're not yet ready to, uh, to adopt or employ the negotiating chip of good governance. Nothing has changed. You, you, know, you would see how you know, journalists may have been harassed, you know, beaten, people may have been beaten, thrown into vans and all of that. Trust in and see, expressed how he felt at the toll gate as some journalists were harassed and manhandled. It makes me feel terrible because um, I was also harassed yesterday at the Lekki toll gate, right, right in my car. So at the right at, at my company's car, at the point where uh, they said like throwing tear gas canisters at people. Of course, we ran into our, our, our car and we had to rescue about one or two people inside our own car. Concerning the controversy of some youths who were supposedly killed at Lekki toll gate, human rights activist Femi Adeyeye spoke on what should be done differently. Until we pull down that system that continues to build all of these brutalities, we would not have you know, a conclusive end. Meanwhile, the federal government has denied the massacre as fake. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has called on CNN and others to apologize to Nigerians for what he termed false accusation. However, Akin Olawoye countered while listing names of people who were killed and injured at last year's protest. The military did not shoot at the protesters at the Lekki Tolkien on October 23rd, 2020, and there was no massacre at the Tolkien. We have five known deceased protesters at the scene of the Tolkien. We have four bodies taking of people who die. With all the reactions, it's expected that the federal government should recommit to its duties by upholding the rights, dignity, freedom, and well-being of every Nigerian above all preocal interest. For Plus TV Africa, Ngozika or HSE. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.